scattered across all seven seas are the islands and archipelagos that make up the 14 UK overseas territories. One of the most remote of all lies 2,500 kilometers west of Cape Town in the center of the South Atlantic. The only way to get there is by boat across some of the roughest waters on the planet. We're now about five miles from Tristan da Cunha. Any minute now, hopefully, it's going to appear through that mist. So 18 days of sailing out of Cape Town is about to come to an end. Well, after three weeks at sea, we finally made it. I had my doubts at a few points, but here we are. Welcome to the most remote inhabited island in the world. It definitely feels like I'm a long way from anywhere. Tristan is the tip of a volcano thrust up from the ocean floor over a hot spot in the Earth's mantle. It rises to over 2,000 meters above sea level. It might look inhospitable, but far from it. There is a village here, Edinburgh of the Seven Seas, with all the comforts of life. Just 270 people live here. But what is life really like here in the world's most remote village? The best way to find out is to ask someone who has lived here his whole life, Harold Green. What's it like living in such a small community? Well, it's a nice life here. Everyone on Harlem, we call them brothers and sisters. We have a big family. Yeah. We share and share alike. If they kill a hoxen, they always slice it and give everybody some piece of beef or mutton or fish, anything. Yeah. And uh, if anyone get in trouble, say a roof go for house or they there to help you, the minister for the help in a safe, and you can let the children go anywhere around this, anywhere, I mean anywhere. Yeah. Well, we don't bolt a door or lock a door. We can go to West for our potato patches. Is. We leave our windows open on fine days. We leave our doors open. There's no locks at all. Harold mentioned potato patches. That's about a mile down the road the only road. And of course, there's a bus. The potato patches are the island's farm. Every family owns several fields to grow potatoes and other vegetables. But, as Harold pointed out, this is really one big family, and everyone helps out when there's work to be done. The islanders also keep cows, sheep, ducks and chickens. But numbers of livestock are strictly controlled to prevent overgrazing of the island's limited pasture. Hey, 
it really feels like a beautiful old fishing and farming village. Obviously a working village. And really it seems to me that it could just be a piece of England cut out and thrown down in the middle of the South Atlantic. Except, of course, for the volcano. And that volcano is still active. It erupted in 1961 and came close to destroying the village. Lava flowed out onto the coastal plain and climbing above it shows how close it came to Edinburgh before it stopped. Just a few tens of meters. It was a terrifying experience for the islanders. Do you also remember the volcano erupting? Yes, it erupts in uh, October. And what was it like during the eruption when the volcano was was, was erupting just down the road. And you saw like it's what you a big shake like that, for any rate. And we it shakes so uh, much it start the uh, the volcano start to open. There was nowhere to retreat to on the island. The only solution was to evacuate the islanders to safety. We went to Cape Town first and then on a starring castle we went up to back to England. And they took us to with coaches First time we ride in a coach or a car in my life. <laughs> we only ride in donkeys or trust in them. Yes. So, what was your time like while you're in England, while the volcano erupted? The British people, I will say once and I'll say again, you wouldn't wish for better people to live with. Not I sent myself, any islander can say the same thing I'm saying. And we stay. 18 months, we just want to come back to Tristan again. And so what also made you want to come back to Tristan? Well, Tristan's so special to me. It's, it's so calm. It's peaceful. It's so quiet. But I don't like the, the noise, a lot of noise, you know. But I just like the quietness. And, yeah. and it, it's so quiet on Tristan sometimes, you can hear the, the grass grow. 